is Anil Kumar and today I want to share my Intel interview experience with you people. I am selected in Intel and 14 students from our batch selected in the Intel. So let's start with the interview experience. Uh, in interview basically first of all the interviewer introduce karta hai aapke samne aur jo hai wo batata hai ki aapka job role kya hoga aapko jo hai kiske liye jo hai interview liya ja raha hai aapka then he start with uh, just a quick introduction he says to you just give your quick introduction just uh, uh, in 2 minutes after that uh, according to my resume he asked uh, questions from my three projects which i did during my mtech First of all, uh, as uh, my project is on Verilog, uh, so he says we switch to the Verilog and uh, he asked uh, like uh, what is the difference between if-else statement and case statement and what will be the outcome of the logic synthesis when we synthesize these two statements. Then uh, he, before that he says me just to describe your projects and I described my projects, uh, each and every project in detail uh, within 10 to 12 minutes. And uh, as of my second project is the implementation of microblaze processor. So he asked me about the um, uh, processor, how to implement the processor and uh, just the basic things. What is the basic need and the requirement uh, to implement a processor. Then he says me, uh, are you comfortable with 8085? Uh, then I say yes okay then he proceed with it and uh, ask some questions uh, I want to discuss those questions with you first of all he asked about the size of the 8085 processor then he asked about what is the SID and SOD serial input data and serial output data uh, in 8085 microprocessor after that uh, Guys, rem always uh, remember one thing. If your interviews uh, says you that uh, uh, please keep this thing in the mind, then uh, definitely he is going to use that thing in the next or uh, after two or three questions. And uh, he want that uh, you must connect uh, that thing with uh, uh, the questions he is going to ask in future. Okay, just keep uh, this thing as like uh, a note actually. Okay, then. Uh, his next question is, uh, if I want to increase the size of uh, 8085 micro microprocessor, what we can do? Then I answered like uh, something like uh, we can use uh, memory mapping and uh, we can use a outside memory. Then he says, no, I don't want this. Then uh, I am saying that uh, there is a virtual memory concept also. Then he says, no. Then uh, actually he want me that uh, we use that SID pin and use it, uh, use it as a address line and uh, so that our memory size increases uh, from 64 KB to 128 KB in 8085 then he simply asked me about uh, about uh, he asked me to draw the characteristic of uh, diode and asked the question about the knee voltage then he asked me the difference between the Gina diode and what is the difference between a Gina diode and a simple diode uh, how it works in the reverse bias and uh, some examples of where we can use the Gina diode then he asked me about uh, totem pole then he says are you comfortable with CMOS if we go with CMOS then I say yes sir I am comfortable then he asked a very famous question that why we use pull up and pull down in CMOS network where we use and uh, what happens if we switch both pull up up and uh, pull down then that uh, these all are uh, some basic and uh, uh, we can say very famous questions after that uh, he moved on and uh, asked uh, questions like uh, there are two different clocks uh, provided to the flip flop then uh, how you correct it i asked like uh, i answered like uh, i use synchronizer then he asked me next question uh, design one bit synchronizer and then he says design two bit synchronizer after that uh, 
what is the difference between a flip flop and latch this is also a very famous question actually uh, you people see then he asked uh, what is uh, if i gave you two latches how you can design a flip flop uh, these all are the questions uh, he asked uh, uh, guys be confident uh, when you answered your question and then uh, he says me just okay thank you and it's uh, around uh, 35 minutes interview and it's a very good experience i hope uh, it's helpful for you guys also and we can uh, one more thing actually first of all uh, my two interviews held in intel actually in first interview i didn't uh, got selected and uh, after that uh, they took second interview after that i got selected so be patient and prepare well thank you